Hello and welcome to Hands-On Infrastructure Automation with Puppet 6. First, introduction. My name is Thomas Uphill and I'm a longtime Puppet developer. I've written several books on Puppet as well as given many trainings. You can find me on most social media as Uphillian. I'm on Twitter, on GitHub, and other things as Uphillian. My consulting company is Uphillian.com and my blog is at ramblings.narabolis.com. Moving on to the course overview, section one. We'll get started with Puppet. We'll do some simple introductions and then we'll show you how to install Puppet for your own use in the course. In section two, we'll talk about idempotence, which is very important in configuration management. Idempotence is the property that no matter how many times you apply something, it always turns out the same. And we'll go into more detail in that section. Section three, we'll talk about the trifecta. And the trifecta is package, file, and service. And using those three resources, we'll be able to do a lot of great things with Puppet. In section four, we'll talk about modules and the Puppet Forge. And that is a place where community modules can be downloaded and used. Section five is where we install a website using modules from the Forge. And in section six, we address extending Puppet. We'll create custom facts that we can use as variables throughout our code. We'll look at custom types and providers and a way to define new types of resources for Puppet. Finally, we look at defined types and functions. And in the last section, section seven, we'll talk about Puppet Lookup, and that was formerly known as Hira. Lookup is a very interesting component of the Puppet ecosystem. It is a way of separating code from data. Lookup is a system of assigning parameter values using facts. Mastering lookup can greatly improve the readability of your code as well as make it more, far more succinct. Moving on to the prerequisites, you will need some programming knowledge and a machine capable of running Vagrant and VirtualBox or something that Vagrant supports such as KVM. The course goals, I want you to be able to understand the Puppet DSL, what manifest classes and modules are and how to make your own, the concept of roles and profiles, which is quite important, where you're able to define a single role for every machine in your infrastructure, but have multiple profiles as part of that role. And not to fear configuration management. A lot of people think that configuration management is quite a big and scary thing, and it's really not that bad. And last of all, have fun. So let's get started.